Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be testing the shotguns. This is going to be much like my sniper test video where we shoot Oswaldo, you know, up close at range with different shotguns. So there's three different shotguns in the game. There's the 20 gauge, which is a buckshot, and there's the 12 gauge buckshot, and then there's the 12 gauge slug round. That's three different rounds. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to test that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Anyways, we're here with Wiggling Oswaldo. He's looking pretty lean, actually. I don't know why he doesn't have a crazy costume on, but we're going to shoot him in the chest here to prove that every single shotgun round, one shot's in the chest. Um, I say every single round because the 20 gauge is the smallest, so, you know, if you do the math, um, the bigger shotgun rounds will one tap also. I'm just showing you that. Um, so we hit him in the stomach there. And it took two shots. That's because the chest and the stomach have two different hitboxes. I'm not too big of a fan of that, but that's just how it is. Anyways, on to the so-called leg meta, which was invented by the Scavs back in 86. Um, yeah, it's been hell for us PMCs, but as you can see, I tried shooting him in between the legs there just to see the hitbox. And uh, in that clip, I was actually I was shooting one leg and then the other. Um, which I think is a much more common, like, thing to happen when you're in a raid. Like, in an actual firefight, you know? But it took three shots when I was switching from each leg. And when I focused in on the same leg, which... Because when you hit a blacked out limb, it actually doubles the damage. So it only took two shots there compared to three. Which does change with the 12 gauge. Oh, and one thing I want to point out in that last clip. I shot him in the leg with a shotgun. And he didn't bleed at all. Um, that happens a lot. This is with a level 1 character also. By the way. And he didn't bleed. I don't know about that one. Anyways, that was the shotgun arms. Took three shots. The USEC health cam. I don't know what happened to it. But it blacked out his arm in the first shot, as I can remember. And took three shots to kill him. Anyways, on to the pack of body armor. Which is a level 2 armor with 50 durability. And he just tanks that first shot, no problem. Takes the third one. And I kind of ran out of ammo here, and this clip is, you know, it's a lot longer than I would have hoped for, but I don't really like speeding up clips. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm going to reload all this stuff right here. It takes some time, don't worry. <laughs> but I don't know. I I knew that armor versus shotguns is terrible. Like, it takes a lot of shotgun rounds to go straight through. The thing I could say is if this was a real firefight um, and he didn't have his arms up in the air, I would be hitting his arms actually most of the time. Now, the Taz actually has the tightest spread out of any of the other shotguns, which we will show off in the, in the spread test. But it took six shots to kill him through the pack body armor, which is a little high in my opinion, only because there's no penalty for getting hit six times in the chest with a shotgun. There's no like knockout feature or anything like that. Which I think would be really nice, but anyways, on to the 12 gauge. I really don't know why Oswaldo's holding my SV-98 like that, but... Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that with the 12 gauge, it one shots in the chest. Just like it did with the 20 gauge. Now, the difference between the 12 gauge and the 20 gauge so far... Is that when you shoot Oswaldo in the stomach with the 12 gauge, it one shots him. Now, I kind of understand the fact that the chest is a... Uh, more lethal, so to say, than the stomach. But I feel the stomach should be more lethal than the legs. That's just my opinion. Anyways, on to the ACL removal service here. It took two shots to one leg, and it took two shots to each other leg also. Which, if you didn't remember, is better than the 20 gauge. It took three shots when we did the different leg tests. And on to the PACA body armor here. All brand new armor, by the way, of course. Um, it took five shots, which, you know, I mean, the body armor is designed to take bullets, right? I just wish there was some kind of stagger effect in the game, maybe. That would also kind of help with the, uh, people moving very quickly, I feel. But on to the UN body armor here, which is a level three body armor, 45 durability. And it took six shots, which is one more than the packa. Which some of you may be thinking when you compare it to other video games that that's ridiculous that no shotgun point blank should take six rounds. And the only problem is is that the PMC is that there's no penalty for the other PMC who just took six shotgun rounds to the chest. Even though he has a vest on and I don't like to do the whole realism thing but 
you would be like kind of off your balance, you know? So I'd like to see some kind of stagger effect implemented into the game at some point. Anyways, onto the coal pack helmet, which I have a gigantic problem with. Oh my god. Um, basically, first problem. I don't think this is a ballistics helmet. In the description, it doesn't say it's a ballistics helmet. I'm pretty sure it's just a riot helmet. So the fact it could even take one shotgun round is a little ridiculous. Um, you know, I thought this was a realistic game. No, I'm kidding. But I, I think the coal pack should only um, prevent you against hatchet swings. You know, I, I, I don't think it should have any ballistic values whatsoever. And that would be game balance. You know, that would balance out the hatchet swing. You don't want to get hit in the head with a hatchet, wear a coal pack. I do not think it should be able to take bolts, though. Especially point blank. Anyways, on to the Saiga using slug rounds. Um, you can use the slug rounds with any of the pump shotguns. You might have seen me using a bunch of different, like, pump shotguns shooting buckshot. But basically, any pump shotgun shooting 12 gauge buckshot will do the same damage. But yeah, with the slugs, it one taps to the chest. Although, when you start using the slug rounds on the stomach, it takes two shots. Now, I remember in one of my last videos, I said that the slugs were like the highest damage, and I thought that, but it's because on the ammo charts, it says that the buckshot do 32 damage compared to 165, but that's actually 32 times 8, which is 256 flesh damage. Thank you, Google Calculator. Anyways, on to the leg meta, which does not exist. And I shot him in the opposite yeah. legs there, and it two-shot him, which means that it'll two-shot if I were to shoot him in the blacked-out leg. So, so far at the moment, it goes 12-gauge buckshot, then slugs, then 20-gauge buckshot in terms of damage with the shotguns. Although there are some spread accuracy buffs that the Taz kind of wins over, which we'll get to soon. We're just going to shoot him in the arms right here to confirm that it's three kills. Now, I have a question, Dad. See how his arms are folded there? Now, what if the bullet goes through the forearm and goes into the arm? Does does it do more damage? I don't know. We might have to test it. I don't think it does, but I'm curious. Anyways, on to the slugs versus the pack of body armor. Now, I only tested the pack with the slugs because this isn't really an armor test, and slugs are terrible against armor. I took five shots there, not six. That was a bit of lag there. But yeah, I only tested the pack because I... I don't know, I feel like if you shot at someone, let's say six times, you're gonna hit arms before you get the kill, you know what I mean? So we'll have to wait for the Ford Armor test videos and stuff like that before I waste some brand new Ford Armor. Anyways, before we get on to the range test part of the video, I wanted to show you guys a comparison between the spread. That is the shortest barrel 870 versus the longest barrel 870. And you might not be able to see it from here, but there was basically no difference. Um, I kind of don't know if there should be a difference. Like, should one have a tighter spread? I also tested the choke, and I almost thought the choke had a wider spread. I didn't put it in the video just because it didn't fit, but yeah. Showing the 20 gauge there. Let's run up. And the 20 gauge is so much tighter of a spread. Like, that's the short barrel right there. It's pretty wide. The long barrel also very, very wide. And then the 20 gauge is just, like, way smaller. Now, I don't know why this is. Um, I thought that the longer barrel would have a tighter spread, and the Taz has a very short barrel. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Some gun I, I need some gun experts to fill me in on why this is. Or if the Taz is just OP. But it's basically a sniper shotgun. <laughs> Anyways, onto my sniper shotgun, which gets a 4G satellite signal. Um, I don't know why I spend so much money on scopes for just to look cool in the video but we're, <laughs> we're at about 70 meters here and i'm kind of testing the effective range right because we all saw how wide the spread was with the 12 gauge and right there because of how wide the spread is i'm pretty sure only like one pellet hit him in the leg there which is why it did so little damage uh someone might be thinking of damage drop off i'm not too sure if there is because in the slug test there wasn't which, well, it, the slug test is next but I had to move up there because I just wasn't really hitting them, you know. It, I'd consider that non-effective range just because we missed three out of four shots. But as I get closer here, some of the shots start to land. And he actually takes quite a bit of damage right there. He took, I think one pellet hit him right there because he didn't take, he barely took any damage. 
As I move up with, I, I'd say we're less than 50 meters away here, probably like 30. And it starts doing a lot of damage. I think the spreads on the shotguns might need to be reduced a bit. I tried the choke, man. I did, and it, I, on like a wall, and there it was almost wider. I'm not even kidding. But <laughs> using the Saiga with slug rounds. Now, I have a question, devs. How come I can't put my Night Force super cool sniper scope on this gun, but I can put an L-can? That does make sense to me. But it one-shot him in the chest. That was a chest shot. Um, that was not a headshot. I kind of thought it was, but I guess there's no drop-off in damage with the slugs, which is pretty cool. I, I like that. And uh, I also tested the accuracy bloom of the slug rounds, and it did not seem as bad as last wipe. I don't know if some of you remember, but last wipe, the slugs, no one really used them because of how inaccurate they were. But it really wasn't that bad. I did a couple more range tests, and as you can see with this pattern, it's pretty good. Um, not bad. A lot better than last wipe, definitely. But yeah, here's a clip of an example of a non-lethal range for slug rounds. Um, the stats do say 70 meters, and I think those stats are accurate from my testing. I, this clip was very long. We did a lot of testing. I just don't want to bore you guys with, because it just didn't make good footage. But basically, when he got within 70 meters, I was able to hit him. And it didn't seem to have any drop-off. He was running full speed, and I hit him in the leg, and it blacked it out instantly. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Here's some little shotgun clips I got. Figured I'd put shotgun clips at the end of a shotgun video. But the shotguns are so fun, man. They really are. Like, any game, I, shotguns are always my favorite. They just feel so punchy when you use them. And they are very lethal. I know they suck against armor, but... Go for them legs, boy, and they'll drop real quick. Um, I almost think leg meta is a little OP, and I... I I think they need to swap the stomach values with the leg values, as I think the stomach is a bit more lethal than your legs, even though they both probably hurt like hell. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. The next video I'm going to be uploading is going to be the Factory SV98 montage. It's, it's going to be a real banger, I hope. Anyways, guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content. Also, follow me on Twitch, goddammit. Ha <laughs> ha.